Hi, I'm Andrew Daniel of 3Ts, Training, Tech and Travel. Today, a little bit of training and a little bit of tech, as we're going to review Matterport's new option within the Capture app to provide a 3D virtual tour, whether using an iPhone or an iPad. To do this, you need a 6S or newer iPhone or one of the latest iPads. I'm going to do today's tour on my iPhone 10. So let's crack on and get straight on with it. First of all, we need to just push the big plus button on here. That will take us into the new property job. We enter the address of the property, save that, and away we go. A couple of things, first of all, before we get to start taking any scans, there's a couple of options here on the option button, which is just down there next to the shutter button. We need to be in 3D scan mode, and we'll also need to do the complete scan. There's two options, a simple scan and a complete scan. The simple scan is basically if you've got an 11, iPhone 11 with a wide angle lens or one of the brand new iPads, it'll actually capture the whole room. So you need to go around and do the 360 degree photographs once. Whereas anything less than that, and what we're going to do is a complete scan, whereas you'll go around three times, once in the middle, once in the bottom, and then once up higher. So it actually captures the whole room. So once you've got all that allocated and um, correct on the screen there, we'll go down and we'll start our scan. Okay, so it's time now to do our first scan to the property with our iPhone. So what we're going to do, we're going to stand here and instead of actually moving the camera around like you might do to take a 360 degree photograph out and about, we're going to try to keep the uh, iPhone as still as we can and actually walk around that one. So off we go, we'll push the shutter button to start and as you'll see on the screen it comes up with a circle and we basically just follow that one around trying to keep the iPhone as still as we can. And so I've got my hands together basically to sort of hold it quite firmly with both hands. Don't worry if you're trying this really with one hand. And we're going around now to do the centre row. This program, unless you've got a new iPhone 11 which has got the extra wide lens, you need to take three rows of photographs, one in the middle, one in the top and one on the bottom. That's the middle row done now, so you can see the dots move down to the bottom. So we will now come down and we'll go around the same as we did before and do photographs of the floor. Following the dots and again trying to walk around and keeping the iPhone as steady as we can. This will take a little bit of practice to try to get it right. So take your time, be as steady as you can. So coming around now to the end of the bottom ones and now up to the top. And you can go either way, left or right. It doesn't matter if you go around, we'll see a dot on either side. This is probably the worst for me. It really does make me feel quite dizzy. Going around there. Take a little bit of concentration because we're looking up at the phone screen. And this should hopefully be the last one. Yep, yeah, that's it. It's now processing this panorama, and uh, that'll be our first scan done. Already feeling a little bit dizzy. So now we'll do one more scan in the kitchen. Again, exactly the same. Find a nice place to stand, hold it up, push the shutter button, and continue around following the dots and trying to keep the camera steady. Okay. Okay, I won't do any more now. You kind of get the general idea what we're going to do with that. So you would do probably a couple of scans in the kitchen. So that's bottom, middle and top. And then we'll come, we'll take two or three over here in the living room before we go. That's all the scans completed downstairs now. We did two in the kitchen, a couple in the living room, the hallway and the downstairs toilet. To be honest, what we were gonna do, we were gonna do the whole property so that we can compare it with the review that we did last week for the Ricoh 360 degree camera and show the difference between the iPhone and that uh, specified 360 degree camera. Unfortunately, with all the spinning around, I'm actually feeling quite dizzy and a little bit sick. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna call it a day here with the one floor. What we've done, we've marked the mirrors and the windows here on the Matterport app. And we've also trimmed around the edge so it will give a nice a doll's house effect for the one story. We're gonna send that off to Matterport now and then we'll come back and show you the final version later on.
So we've got our version back from Matterport now and as you can see the doll's house isn't that impressive although on first impressions the actual walkthrough doesn't look too bad. However if you do look closely you will notice some anomalies. The mirror there on the right hand side is missing a little bit. Also the sink is missing the left hand side and the oven looks a little bit smaller in places rather than others. Um, so on the whole not too bad but I say I wouldn't be using it I don't think to send to any of my clients. This is where you really do notice the difference between the dedicated 360 degree camera that we reviewed last week, the Ricoh Theta and the iPhone. With the 360 camera on the right hand side, first of all just notice how much brighter it is, how much detail there, are, there is, the crispness of it, it's just so much better, there's no comparison really. So I definitely would be using this for all of my 3D virtual tours and giving the iPhone a bit of a miss at the moment because the quality just isn't there. Well, I surely am glad that's over. That was not a pleasurable experience. I feel like I went on a roller coaster ten times on the trot. I'm still a bit, a bit dizzy and all over the place on there. Um, I don't really understand what Matterport trying to game with putting on an iPhone. Possibly a very small space, one room, an office. Uh, maybe a homeowner might buy their plan and do their own, own tour to save some money instead of paying a real estate or a professional. I just don't really understand, and it's something that I definitely will not be using again. Uh, if you compare the quality, obviously in the video, to what we did last week with the uh, the Theta, there it's uncomparable really in my eyes. Maybe the iPhone 11 may possibly be better if you put it on a tripod or a monopod and spun it around, but I don't really see the point. If, you know, you're better off just spending £800 and getting a real quality 360 degree professional camera and doing it that way. That's what I would definitely recommend. Hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some insight. Please hit the subscribe button below and give us a like. It really does help. And we'll have some more videos soon. Thank you.